here. Welcome back to another Make It Monday. Today we are talking specifically about green screen backdrops. These things are fun to play with. Once you figure them out. Oh yeah. It, a definite learning process. Yeah, it's a it's fairly steep learning curve, but once you get there, it's a lot of fun. The problem is getting there. Pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> Certainly having a program that supports green screen technology is a bonus. Yes, there are programs that you can go through and like XSplit. You're able to do this live. Mm hmm. You do it right in the program as you're going along. Or while recording, as we just did. Mm -hmm. There are other programs like uh, Cyberlink's Power Director, where you record on the green screen and then add afterwards. Right. Now that's a bit more. That's a bit more difficult process, but you can do it. You know, fun things, fun things about green screen. What did that just do? Did I mess it up? Stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> See, I don't even know yet. Let's go take a walk <laughs> on a cloudy day. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap effects. Or if you could go anywhere in the world, where do you want to go? Hmm. To the moon, out no. <laughs> <laughs> Ireland, why not? That works. Now in an Irish country. Mm. Are they real or empty? Mm -hmm. What is the case? How about you? Where would you go? Oh, I long to see Paris. Maybe someday. Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe, the Louvre. Maybe someday. But as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with green screens. Yes. You can also do a lot of very important things. Uh, Actually, one of the widest used, uh, widest uses of green screens, two professions. Can you name one? Weatherman. Hey. Right. That's why you never see them wear green. They wear blue, they wear black, they wear brown, any color. Now, I have, I have seen one weatherman wear green. He wore a green screen suit, and he was just a floating head, and it was during and the hands. Halloween. Yeah, it was but just, it was for Halloween. It was for Halloween. Yeah. It, that was a whole gimmick in itself. Mm -hmm. Just see. Just floating head, head and hands. Floating around. <laughs> uh, yes, there are many, many wonderful uses for green screen. Uh, most people. One major use for green screens is movie industry. Movie industry. Mm -hmm. Entire sound stages made of green screen. Bed knobs and broomsticks. Per perfect example. Yep. Um, all the CGI done in all these new movies. Mm -hmm. It's either green or blue. But typically it's green because green's easier to work with. Because people typically don't wear that bright of green. And when I say bright, oh my lord. Do I mean bright? Yeah. Typically it's this color green. 
Now, if we were doing, like, I don't know, if we had a blue screen, the problem would be we really couldn't wear this. What would happen is... See? Our shirts completely disappear. But you can do a lot of fun things with this. Uh, you could have a logo go across the shirt. Yeah. Or something like that. But I mean, you can see. You can see for the most part through the shirt. And I can put my hands in in the shirt and you know. well if it was a full sleeve shirt yeah you can still kind of see the shirt because it's not perfectly blue but don't ever mix up your blue screen and green screen oh yeah or there's also red screen which is kind of funny because that gets rid of uh, us. Well, that just means we are under pigment is very red. Mm -hmm. I am Paris now. <laughs> Not just in Paris, I am Paris. <gasps> Where's the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> But see, you could have a lot of fun with, well, blue screens, green screens, red screens, stuff like that. It was actually kind of fortuitous that we have a lot of red pigmentation in our skin. Because we could actually show blue and then, or the green. <laughs> wow, I must be color, colorblind. Green, blue, and red. And now each one of them works. Another thing that's fun with green screens is you can go through. What was that thing you were doing earlier? Oh, I'm, I mean. Reaching into yeah, the reaching, clouds? Yeah, reaching up into the clouds. I think I got it. There you go. I did not get loose. <laughs> uh, I mean. With larger items, it's kind of hard to, to do that. You get a kind of quick. Just kind of. There we go. We're still learning this this stuff. I mean, there's entire industries out there that are dedicated to this technology, and it's simple. It's just a monochrome background you know bright green of course or blue or red or whatever and a little bit of technology to make it disappear yep now the average person will see it mostly on the weather, cha weather channel mm -hmm. In movies. Mm -hmm. And anyone who watches gamers on YouTube. Yeah. Well, Except. see it, or in this case, not see it. Exactly. Yeah. But a lot of professional gamers on YouTube will use the green screen to... Oh, a lot. More often, they use XSplit's Vcam. Yeah. Which gets rid of background without the need of the screen. Yeah. But it's a little not as smooth. Yeah. Um, especially, the, they'll mostly use it if they just want to get rid of the background for the green screen. Some of them, a lot of them I've seen, a lot of the ones I watch, they just keep the background, they make it mm -hmm. funny and interesting, you know. Um, but they just keep the background and the little camera over one of the corners. Like this. 
Yeah, like that. And they have themselves over in the corner, kind of out of the way. Sometimes they got to move it around the screen in order to show a little bit. Like, say there was something over in the bottom corner. You know, over down there. And, or up in that corner. And they're trying to get out of the way to show it to their, their audience. You know. A lot of that's done in post-processing and all that. But with... Uh, XSplit, you can do this stuff live. Yeah. If you really wanted to. You know, have somebody off camera running the things, you know, keeping it interesting. High Five Studio, prime example. Uh, prime example, yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're not, they're just sitting there talking and, you know, showing off products and explaining stuff, having fun being stupid. Well, the people in the background, like, Liz, mm -hmm. are the ones throwing the products at them, or manning the camera, and, and the computer saying, which camera to turn on? Is it this one? Is it that one? Is it that one? And speaking of multiple cameras, this is kind of trippy. <laughs> So what we have here is, well, I don't know, what, what, what do we got here? We've got the laptop camera and the camera I prefer to record with. So we're watching a couple nerds uh, watch themselves. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of fun can be had with this technology. It's pretty easy once you get it just right. Yep. The thing is learning how to set, where to set. To make it look halfway decent. Yep. And it is not the easiest. No. Now, all this entails, there are other backgrounds and backdrops you can use besides having to do it all in software. You yes. can use physical backgrounds. You can go through and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars for physical backgrounds. Yeah, and we're not just talking like one background. Although there are some out there that are hundreds and thousands of dollars. Um, like, example, I wanted to go through and make a backdrop, a photography backdrop that's similar to what is on the red carpet. Yeah. That would cost me $8,000. Oh, yeah. And it's just a simple backdrop. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean... And that was with a discount. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it's a toss-up between whether having physical backgrounds and having to lug something around, or having a green screen and doing a lot of pros, uh, either post-processing work, or having, you know... In process in processing which either way it's gonna cost you yes you know some of it can be cheap some of it is gonna be expensive you know the choice is up to you it's all what you choose to use how you choose to use it and what works best for you yeah if you're not very tech savvy then you're kind of going to need something that's going to do it most of the work for you, or at least walk you through it step by step. Or physical backdrops. Yeah, more physical backdrops. It's a lot more equipment to lug around, but it's easier 
in the end. You know, it's it's a toss up between being having a program do it for you or having to set up a different background. Constantly. Constantly. More work or. If you're gonna have multiple backdrops, then my suggestion would be get a multi-stand. That way you can just slide them back and forth like you will find in a photographer's studio. Mm -hmm. And have a studio. A single room in which you do nothing but that. Now there are some companies that, like um, the companies that, that did uh, my school pictures, Balfour, they have one background, but with that background, they can either put it, put a, <clears throat> um, what's it called? Props? No, well with the background they have a prop. It's just more of a how your body's positioned. But it's not a green screen. It's just more of a filler panel. And what they do with the filler panel is they'll throw something in the background. You, you know. Yeah. Kind of like what we're doing. Or they'll just tweak the color. You know. Stuff like that. But that's post-processing work. Yeah. With this, with XSplit, you do it as you go. The computer, the, the software does it for you. With things like GIMP or Photoshop, you've got to do a lot of work post-process or Cyberlink's power director. You have to do the work after you've done the recording. Yes. It really it's all about choice of how you want to work with the media. Do you want physical media? Do you want you know post process work or do you want in process work? It's or there's also the choice of hiring somebody else to do yeah. it for you. Yeah. You could have someone else. You, you can shirk all that all together and have somebody else do it, to, do it for you. Yeah. You know. In the end, it's all up to your personal choice and what's going to work for it's best for you. How easy or how difficult. Mm -hmm. Or just say, here, it's yours. Yeah, here you drive. I'll take the pictures, you do the rest of the work. Just tell me where to sit and I'll start talking when you say. Mm hmm Pretty much. Anything else we want to cover on backgrounds, backdrops? I think that about covers it. Thank you for joining us today on another Make It Monday. Oh, and before we go, one last neat thing you can do with green screens. 